After defeating Richard III in battle, Henry VII became the first Tudor monarch. He died in 1509, and as his eldest son had died already, his second son became King Henry VIII. Henry reigned for 37 years and is most famous for his six wives. First was Catherine of Aragon, who had been married to his older brother to strengthen the bond between Spain and England, and when he died, the couple's parents arranged for her to marry Henry. After the couple failed to produce a male heir, Henry asked the Pope to annul the marriage on the grounds it shouldn't have taken place due to Catherine's marriage to Henry's brother. The Pope refused and Soon after, Parliament passed the first act of supremacy, declaring Henry the new head of the Church of England, replacing the Pope, and it became a treasonous act not to recognise Henry's new position. Henry's marriage to Catherine was annulled in 1533, and he wed Anne Boleyn the same year. She gave birth to Elizabeth, later Elizabeth I. After three years, Anne was accused of treason, adultery, and incest, and became the first Queen of England to be beheaded. Henry married his next wife, Jane Seymour, two weeks after the execution. She gave birth to the future Edward VI, but died as a result of the birth. Henry began to dissolving monasteries and similar religious communities. He sold their land and used the money for his military campaigns and invested heavily in southern coastal defences and the navy in case an ally of the Pope attacked. In 1540, Henry married Anne of Cleves without having met her before and almost immediately the marriage was annulled on the grounds it hadn't been consummated and she'd been married previously. Later that year, he married his fifth wife, Catherine Howard, but when it became apparent she'd been unfaithful, she was beheaded. He married his last wife, Catherine Parr, in 1543 and died four years later. His nine-year-old son became king. 